<laughs> Alright guys, how's it going? The reason I'm laughing is I just made the tutorial and didn't hit the record button. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to use an empty object to rotate our camera. Pretty simple stuff. So in traditional fashion, we'll delete the cube. <laughs> uh, then I'll go to add and I'll go to empty. And yeah, we have a few options here. I'll select the arrows. Now I'll select my camera, and then I'll select the arrows, and I'll right click and I'll go to parent. You can also use control P as a shortcut. And I'll parent the object. Now what I'll do is I'll select the arrows again and I'll put auto keyframing on just to help me. And then I'll go to rotate. Now if you just click, you'll see that it actually sets a keyframe. I'll go to frame something like 100. And in the Z axis I'll change that to 360 degrees. So an empty pretty much acts like a null. Uh, you might be used to nulls if you use other software. So just so we can see what we're doing, we'll go to add, mesh, and we'll drop Suzanne in. Why not? We'll jump into our camera view. We'll go back. And that's how you get a perfect 360. Uh, sometimes I see product rendering shots and it's slightly off the axis and that drives me mental. Another thing is if you select the arrows or an empty layer, I call it null. It's just easier. Uh, you can change it some of the options here, showing viewport, selectable, showing renders, viewport display, things like that. Now another tip is you can actually jump into the animation tab, get in the dope sheet, and you can actually change the interpolation regarding the last keyframe, so sometimes it's nice to put an ease in, so when your camera rotates, ease in slowly. And that's pretty much how you use empty objects in Blender 2.8. Thanks for watching, you know what to do, like and subscribe, peace.